Hey there everybody, thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Jeremy, I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, this week I am doing a little bit more of what I was doing last week. I'm using um, the texture on a material to emit particles from an X particle system. So uh, with this one, I was playing around. Last week I used an image sequence to generate those particles. This week I'm using the noise, um, the noise parameters native to Cinema 4D. So at first I was using a displacement map on a plane and I was kind of doing that because I was using a, a follow surface uh, on the X particle system to keep the particles uh, following that surface the whole time and kind of keep things unified in that way. I ultimately ended up uh, killing that later. Um, what I was having a lot of problems with at first was I was, I was trying to use the that black to white um, to first emit uh, a color that would start um, green in this case and then die off to black. I'm having trouble trying to figure out how to scale the particles down to nothing. Um, I'm familiar with particular in After Effects, so I was trying to figure out uh, how to use it in a similar way um, where I want the size of my particle over life to kind of collapse down. Um, I know that there is a way to do it, I just need to continue to play around with it. So what I did here was uh, I just... I started to use that uh, surface to emit these particles but then started playing around with other motion modifiers to just get an interesting look so I uh, you can see I just had a wind parameter in there I ultimately ended up killing that and throwing in a an attractor and a rotator so uh, and then from here it was just a lot of tweaking and playing around with the strength of both of those um, I, I like the the idea that that I was getting from this. I, I also had um, I'm sorry dynamics in there, uh, particle on particle collisions, so these spheres would kind of bounce off of each other. Um, and you can see there, I'm just getting a huge chunks just kind of getting sucked in like way too quick. So it was just a lot of tweaking with that. And then ultimately, I had a lot of particles meeting at the almost like the equator line of this sphere. And I thought it looked too uniform and didn't look uh, natural and enough for whatever it is. I mean, it is just an abstract, weird uh, animation. But um, I just want to have a little bit more um, of a random kind of shape. So what I started to do was put in um, some more uh, objects. Uh, in this case, two spheres. One the attractor is going to, and the other is just kind of like a bumper in the way to get those particles to kind of flow around those. And I was using um, an XP collider tag in order to get the particles to react to that. And then uh, using the, some built-in um, gradient parameters for the display. Um, I, I got that color scheme there. Um, in the future, I'll be digging in a little bit more to customize color schemes. It's really easy to grab the preloaded ones. They're really nice looking, but I want to kind of uh, you know, section out particles in you know using my own color schemes rather than those built into the plugin. So, um, and then uh, so what I was doing here, I, I did some started caching these simulations out to play those back so they'd be a little bit faster in the render. Um, what I noticed here was that I was getting a lot of um, like I said uniformity at the center of the sphere. So I. Um, cranked up the strength of the deformer on my plane to get those particles to really kind of bounce up and down. Um, and then here's what I ultimately ended up comping out in After Effects. It was a, just a pretty straightforward color correction um, and grade. And uh, here's the final render. So uh, what I'm liking about this, I, I like the the that those particles are kind of picking up off that random original emission from the texture and getting sucked into uh, the surface of the sphere. That's working exact, exactly as I want it to. I think in the future for a simulation like this, I would either turn down the amount of spheres or turn up the steps um, uh, in the simulation so that these spheres are not um, colliding and passing through each other's mesh. Um, I don't like how it's, especially when they get up to the larger sphere that they're attracting to here, that they all kind of mesh together. Um, almost looks like bubbles or something like that, which could look cool, but in this case, I would like them to kind of respect their own outside edges. So, um, But uh, other than that, it was a fun little uh, experiment with this, and I'll 
be moving forward with more experiments in X particles um, and further uh, going further into the uh, Gorilla Guide to X particles. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I try to answer all the questions that I see there, um, and I love the feedback. So um, thank you so much for watching, um, and that is all for this week's episode. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. Visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thank you again so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.